Friends, how's it going today? Chad is CRC here with you. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about soldering. And this picture here was put on the Flight One Facebook group the other day. And I got to give the guy credit because if, if, if anybody puts anything like this up on a social media website, you know that the flaming is, is just coming. And the post I think now is like around 200 comments and a lot of people I would say 98% of them were like super helpful to this guy they made a lot of great recommendations and talked him through a lot of things and he kept on kind of putting examples on how he was getting better trying different methods and everything like that so it was really good to see something like that in the community and in the end, this is how things have turned out for him so far. Obviously still some work to do, but a lot better. And there's a few things that people recommended that I actually wanted to try myself because ever since I've ran out of my dependable Radio Shack solder, I've went and picked up some regular 6040 solder that you would pick up anywhere. And I've noticed that I've been getting a lot of cold joints and things won't stick to the to the boards and I've tried flux and I hate using flux because it just makes an extra mess and you know I got a good iron trying to heat all that stuff I've been doing this for a long time and I was getting pretty frustrated so I started like searching the internet and asking around some people that do a lot of soldering professionally and also started reading through this thread and I'll show you some stuff that so the first thing that I came up with on my own after speaking to some people is that NASA actually has a, a solder training program that is available to people out there in the public to take and I'll post some links there's online training materials and stuff and I kind of read through some of it and everything I know some of it but it's pretty cool to see like all the different kind of solders that you can actually do and make and the different connections and all that stuff actually a couple of my co-workers my ex-boss actually was NASA solder certified he actually went to a, a college out in California that worked closely with JPL back in like uh, probably the, the 60s or 70s or whatever and he went through this course I even seen his certificate about it it's pretty sweet so here's the uh, the links uh, for like if you do a Google search you can check some stuff out I'm gonna put the slideshow down here in the, the description below you can check that out so besides taking care of your tips and looking for oxidation and using the right heat and all that stuff you know, the biggest thing that I have seen and that I learned and picked up was Kester Solder. This name just kept on coming up over and over and over and over. Specifically, the 6337 instead of the 6040. People said it flows better, it's a lot easier to work with, it doesn't splatter as much, and this and that. And all of this is true. I don't have any pictures of any of my results since I've been using this stuff. But it has made soldering a lot easier and more enjoyable because things just flow and stick where they have to. Now, I, I still have some uh, knockoff weller tips that work pretty well. I don't think they work as good as the, as the original weller tips, but you know, you get like six in a pack versus one for the same price on Amazon. So I take extra special care of them and eventually I'll probably pick up some weller tips and all the different sizes as well but this stuff here is just golden and they also have a variety if you're not into 6037 of the 6040 and 6040 solder is something that pretty much comes up a lot and that's kind of like your go-to solder and I'm not sure why it, it's that much better than the 6337. I know the contents, of course, of the core are a little bit different, but I used all 6040 in the past. That's what all my Radio Shack stuff was. But 
you know, nothing has worked as well for me as this 6337. So I have links to both of these in my description down below. So if you're interested in picking some up and using my affiliate links and helping me out, that would be great. Also, all the other little tools and tips and things that I have down there as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There is uh, there is this flux pen that I use as well, but I found that I really only like to use flux on big connectors and everything like that. But honestly, since I started using this solder, using uh, doing XT60s and everything like that has really turned out a lot easier. I haven't had to just sit there and bake things together and. You know, we've all been there, especially people who aren't super hobbyists or, you know, we've got things floating on our desk instead of using helping hands and everything, and you melt your plastic and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but that, the Custer 6337 just has been flowing just, just beautifully. So, I hope this helps you out. Check out that NASA thing. It's pretty cool. It's definitely a time warp. Talk to you later.